Hi, it's Arnie here, and today I'm going to show you how to create this video of typing a word and correcting it. Now, for the sake of this video, I downloaded a template and removed some of the components. Now, there may be other ways of creating this effect, but I discovered to do it this way, so definitely keep experimenting. So for the first part, we're going to just add some text. And I'm going to make it uh, bold. And we're going to color it black so that we can see it very easily. And let's type the word create, but we're going to spell it wrong. OK, and let's bring that into the search bar area right about like that. And that looks pretty good. OK, now we're going to give it an effect of a typing effect here, a text effect. But before I do that, what I want to do is change the rotation point. So by default, the rotation point is in the center. We want it off to the left. So that way, the text is created from the left to the right. So now we're going to go to text effect and use the typewriter. And we'll bring it on to about there. So what will happen now is the word will type like that and just stay there for a second. Okay, now in order, we're going to just bring this down a little bit. Let's say that to about, to about there. Okay. Now in order for this to, uh, to do the correction, what we want to do now is get rid of the T and then get rid of the E and then type the T and E. So how I've done that is I'm going to duplicate the word and we're going to get rid of this effect. Okay, and we're going to match it end to end here. And I'm just going to make this version without the T. So I'm going to go in here, and we're going to erase the T. So what will happen is when, uh, when after the typing is complete, it will just backspace and look like you're erasing the T. So we'll have that stay on for a moment. And let's duplicate that again. And with this version, we're going to get rid of the E. OK, and now we're going to duplicate that again. And now we'll make our correction with the T and duplicate. And this version will be the correct version. There we go. And we'll just have that out to the end here like that. So what we have now We'll just start here from the beginning. Is it looks like it's typing, backspacing, and creating the proper word. Okay, I'm actually just going to change the camera here because the camera seems to be in a zoom mode. So let's bring that out here. There we go. Okay. So that's how we do the text. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab all this text using the Shift key, and we're going to group it, and we'll call that text. Okay, now we're going to do the, uh, the cursor line. So let's just zoom in here. How we do that is we're going to add a shape. I'm going to add a rectangle here. Let's color it uh, black again. And we're going to make it about the size of the search bar and make it quite thin. Okay, and let's just move that down a little bit and over. Okay, so that's going to be the starting point. So let's bring that right to the end here. And what's going to happen is as each letter comes on, I'm going to create a new version of this line and just have it skip along. So let's just go to the beginning here where the C just pops on right there. And we're going to make this up to that point and let's duplicate it. Good. Okay, and let's zoom in here. And we're going to grab, I'm going to zoom in quite close and grab this and we're going to put it on the other side of the scene. I'm going to hold the shift key down so I can drag it. Oh, that's dragging that. Okay, vertically, but let's go across. And we're going to put it on the other side of the C right about there. Just move it one little notch. Perfect. So what will happen now is as the C pops on, there'll be a new line right after it. So we're going to do that for all the letters. So as the R pops on here, 
we're just going to extend that, duplicate it, okay, and then we're going to move that over to about there. Okay, and let's move the cursor along here. We're going to where the E pops in right there. Make that a little bit shorter and duplicate. Good. Let's zoom in on that. Then we're going to bring that right across just a little bit like that. And for the next letter, the A is right there. There we go. Duplicate. And go in where the next letter is right there. Now, of course, you can really hone in on this if you want to increase the uh, the timeline here. Okay, and let's go in and move that on the other side of the A. Now we're just going to do this right to the end. Oops. As you can imagine, for longer words, this will definitely take longer. Okay, and the T pops in right about there. And we'll move that over just like that. Okay, so what's going to happen here is as it's typing, the cursor will move. Now we want to backspace, so when we get to that point, which is right about there, okay, see right there, this gets a little bit easier because what we have to do now is just duplicate the one before. And we'll bring it up. Okay, until we get to the other one where the now the E disappears, which is right there. Okay, we'll just elongate that and duplicate the one in front of the A. So far so good. And when the T pops in, right about there, we'll just duplicate that one because the actual position may change a little bit compared to the other letters. And we're going to move that over to, let's say, there. And finally, when the E pops in, which is right there, we're well, pretty close on that one, we'll duplicate again, take that down to the end of the animation, and we're going to move that over right to there. Great. Okay, let's save that as you go. Okay, so that's the line popping in. Now, one thing that we're going to also do is have it flash on and off at certain points. So let's just see what that looks like right now. Okay, that looks pretty good. So at the end here, right after the T, which is this one here, we're going to have it flash a little bit, like the cursor usually does. So we're going to go into Motion and go to Loop, and we're going to go to Opacity and pick the Blink. Okay, now I'm just going to put this right to the end of the um, how long that uh, that is on for and by default the animation is three loops with 100 percent opacity which we want which is fine but as you'll notice when I play it it's very fast I want to slow down that blink so either I can change this to one blink or we can just expand the blink beyond the actual time that the uh, that the letter is on and what you'll notice is that it will slow it down Okay, and at the end here, when it comes back again, we're going to turn the blink back on again, like that, and we'll have it go over the course of the entire length here, so it will uh, blink like that when we're at the end. Okay, I'm just going to grab these here now. So these are all the lines are done. Good, we're going to grab all these again with the shift key. So it grabs from the uh, from the one end to another end. It'll grab all the ones in between, and we're going to create a group. We'll call this cursor. 
Okay, and the last thing we're going to do is add some sound effects. Now, because these are single clicks, as if you're clicking each letter individually, it's not like a real typing, you're not typing really fast. So I downloaded this um, mouse click sound. It's very uh, singular, and I got that from uh, the media library here. Where we looked at audio. Okay, we got one of the sound effects here. So what I'm going to do here is once the uh, once the C pops in right there, I'm going to bring that sound in. I'm going to put it about halfway. I found this works out quite well. Now for this, I'm actually going to um, let me just zoom out here. Sorry, let's do that. And Control Zero brings it back into full screen. Okay, I'm going to turn off the snapping on the timeline. So that way I can place this wherever I want. So it's going to sound something like this. Okay. And whenever each letter pops in, I'll just add a mouse click. Move this about halfway here. Okay, when the E pops in there. And we'll just do this as I go along. I'm going to do this rather quickly here. Okay, and again, you can just uh, be as fine-tuned as you like. And we're going to go back. The T is right about there. Add another one. Okay, we're almost done here. Okay, and then we're going to grab all of these here with the shift, create a group, and we'll call this sound effects. Okay, and we can also add a camera effect. So let's say we're going to start it right here, and let's add a camera effect. So it's zooming in. So we're going to start right here. We're going to press the plus key, and we'll have it zoom in to where it's spelled wrong like that. And at this point we'll, uh, we'll just zoom in a little bit here. Center it a little bit like that. Perfect. There we go. Okay. And now let's start from the beginning here. Let's see what we did. Okay. Well that's about it. Again, play around with it, you can fine tune it, and I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.